hello rhyme, friend. <laughs> our hello rhyme is we're going to do bread and butter, marmalade and jam. But first, let's start our tapping. So we're going to tap and then clap our hands. Sharp knocks and see who hides behind it. 
Let's see, I'm looking for a friend who's sitting quietly on the ground. Okay, amazing. Give that purple door three knocks. One, two, three. All right, open up the door. Is anybody under there? No! Our friend is really hiding today. There is nobody under the purple door. All right. What door should we pick next? Purple. Oh, we already did purple. We just did purple. I'm going to pick this one. This one, the yellowy green door. All right, let's see. We're looking for an animal that starts with C, and we won't stop till we find it. So let's give the yellow door three sharp knocks and see who hides behind it. Ooh, singing nice and quietly. Gentle knocks. All right. Is there somebody under there? Dinosaur. But I have a question. What is this? A dinosaur. Does a dinosaur start with the letter C? The dinosaur? No. Did you see what Miss Renee did? She made a mistake. I was supposed to change that to D for dinosaur. But you guys are so smart because you knew that. You knew it was C. Did somebody under there? Excellent job. All right, everybody say goodbye to the dinosaur. Bye, Bye dinosaur. All right, and let's read our first story. Like I said, today we are talking about some mixed up animals. So in some of our stories, we may see dogs that sound like cows. We may see a chameleon that looks like an elephant. It's all crazy and mixed up today. So we are reading Bark George. We are reading Bark George. This is by Jules Pfeiffer. And friends, if you would like to sit a little closer so you can see the pictures, you can do that. This is George, friends. Can everybody say hi, George? Hi, George. And that is George's mom. And this is Bark George. George's mother said, Bark George. George went, meow. Is that what he's supposed to say? No. What do dogs say? Woof, woof, woof. I think George is a little mixed. No, George, said George's mother. Cats go meow. Dogs go arf. Now bark, George. George had this. George went quack, quack. Is that what dogs say? No. no. What's those quack, quack? That's what ducks say, right? No, George said George's mother. Ducks go quack, quack. Dogs go arf. Now bark, George. George went oink. Is that what he was supposed to say? No, that's what pigs say. That is what pigs say. He was all mixed up. No, George, said George's mother. Pigs go oink. Dogs go arf. Now bark, George. George had it. George went Moo. Is that what he was supposed to say, Liam? No. That's what cows say. That is what cows, cows say. George's mother took George to the vet. I'll soon get to the bottom of this, said the vet. Please, barked George. George went, meow. <laughs> it is what kids say. The vet reached deep down inside of George and pulled out a cat. a cat. Oh my goodness, that's too silly. Bark again, George. George went quack, quack. The vet reached deep, deep down inside of George and pulled out a duck. A duck. Bark again, George. George went oink. The vet reached down inside of George, and he pulled out a pig. A pig. Now I have a question. Did George really have a big pig living in his stomach? No. no. This is just a silly story, isn't it? Bark again, George. George went. Uh oh. The vet put on his longest glove yet. Then he reached deep, deep, deep. Deep, 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 deep down inside of George. And 
what do you think you pulled out? A cow. And pulled out a cow. <laughs> that is a big cow. <laughs> Bark again, George. George went. Arf! Is that what George is supposed to say? Arf! 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 George's mother was so thrilled that she kissed the vet, and the cat, and the dog, and the pig, and the cat. <laughs> on the way home, she wanted to show George off to everyone on the street. So she said, bark, George. And George went, hello. Is that what George would say? What did dog say? Woof. Dog say hello? Uh, who says hello? People. People. Uh-oh. Who do you think's inside George now? A person. Uh-oh. And that's the end of Bark George by Jules. Isn't that a fun story? It's really silly, isn't it? All right, friends. Give yourself a pat on the back. You had excellent listening ears. All right. We are actually going to do a rhyme that is over here for the first session. You're already going to know the words for this. If you brand new, the words are super simple. Um, but I mixed up a slide on you, so we're just going to um, go with it. So get out your thumbs. Show me your thumbs. And these are our big cats. All right. And our big cats are going to hide behind our back. And then we're going to end this. I know. So you're already going to know these words, aren't you? Yeah. Can you help me, Miss Bianca? Yeah. All right. Here. Well, you'll see, ready? We're going to go like this. Here. Where is Big Cat? Where is Big Cat? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today? Very well, I think. Here. Meow, 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 meow. meow. Yeah. See, that was a pretty easy rhyme to do, wasn't it? All right, let's do it one more time. Hide those big cats behind your back. And here we go. Where is big cat? Where is big cat? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, cat? Very well, I thank you. Meow, 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 meow. meow. Excellent job. Now, bring your hands back out, and we're going to switch it up, and we're going to do little cat. Can you put up your pinkies and do little cat? This one's kind of tricky. I have problems with this. Pinkies sometimes doesn't want to wiggle. Can you show me? And if so, if a few fingers are sticking up when you try to do it, that's just fine. We're going to do little cat this time. We're going to hide our little cats behind the chair. Hide them behind your back. And then we're going to do where's the little cat. Where is little cat? Where is little cat? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, cat? Very well, I thank you. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Excellent job. Let's do it one more time. Your little cat should already be behind your back. And you're doing where is little cat? Where is little cat? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, cat? Very well, I thank you. Meow, 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 meow. Excellent job. All right, give yourself a round of applause. That was hard work. Good job. All right. It is time for our next story. And this is called The Mixed Up Chameleon, and it's by Eric Kahn. All right, friends, if you would like to scoot up a little bit closer again, you are more than welcome to. Does anybody know what a chameleon is? It does, it changes colors. It's a lizard that changes colors. What is it, Mr. Bean? Mm -hmm. It does change different colors. It's a lizard that changes colors. So let's see what happens in our story. It can turn pink. All right, friends, let's turn on our listening ears, crank them all the way up, and let's unzip our lips just for a minute. But you can unzip them if I ask a question. Here we go. On a shiny green leaf sat a small green chameleon. It moved onto a brown tree and 
turned what color? Brown. Then it rested on a red flower and it became kind of a tree. Oh, bless you. Red. Yeah. When the chameleon moved slowly across the yellow sand, it turned green or kind of yellowish. You could hardly see it. I can see it. When the chameleon was warm and had something to eat, it turned sparkling. What color? Green. Sparkling green. But when it was cold and hungry, it turned gray. Was it very happy? When the chameleon was hungry, it sat still and waited. Only its eyes moved. All right, let's see if we can sit as still as the chameleon. Can you freeze? And then just move your eyes. Don't move your body, just move your eyes. It's kind of hard to do, isn't it? All right, you can unfreeze. Only its eyes move up, down, sideways, until it spotted a fly. Then the chameleon's long and sticky tongue shot out and caught the fly. That was its life. It was not very exciting. But one day, the chameleon saw a zoo. It had never seen so many beautiful animals. Let's see what kind of animals he saw. What's this one? A turtle. Do you know what this one is up here? Yeah, it's a polar bear. It's a polar bear. Do you know what this purple one is right here? It's a whale. It kind of looks like a whale, but it's called a seal. Make sure you're sitting down on your bottoms, friends, so the friends behind you can see. What about this one? What is this? A flamingo. A flamingo. What about this one here? A goldfish. What about this up here? An elephant. An elephant. Does anybody know what this one's called? A uh, fox. What about this down here? A deer. A uh, deer. What about this tall one? A uh, giraffe. Giraffe. And what about these down here? People. And, and an elephant. All right. Keep all of those animals in mind. That's a lot of animals. Make sure you're sitting on your bottoms, friends. I am. The chameleon thought, how small I am. How slow. How weak. I wish I could be big and white like a polar bear. And the chameleon's wish came true. What color did he turn? Like a bear. Like a bear. He's kind of like a whitish gray, like the bear. But was he happy? Yeah. No. no. He wasn't happy. I wish I could be handsome. Like, what do you think he wanted to be next? What would have pink legs and pink wings? Um, a flamingo. He wanted to be like a flamingo. You think he was happy yet? No. I wish I could be smart. Like, what would have a red bushy tail? A, a fox. He wanted to be smart like a fox. I wish I could swim. What do you guys think? Like a fish. Like a fish. I wish I could run. What has antlers? Like a deer. A deer. You think he was happy yet? Yeah. No. I wish I could see things far away. Like a he has a long yellow neck. A a giraffe. I wish I could hide in a shell like a like a turtle. <laughs> it is. It looks too big. He's kind of all mixed up, isn't he? Yeah. I wish I could be strong like an elephant. He's looking really crazy. And I wish I could be funny like a seal. He has purple flippers also. Would you, would you want to be all mixed up like all of these different animals? No. 
So give me just a second to bring it up. That picture for a few minutes. All right. All right. Here's an elephant. Friends, can you see back there? You need to move a little closer. All right. We need to make this look like an elephant. So if you want to move closer, you can do that. Sit on your bottom. But you need to make sure that you sit on your bottom to move closer. All right. Does this look like an elephant? No. Is that an elephant? No. Oh. Is it starting to look like an elephant? Yeah. How does it look like an elephant? You can see his what? His big ears. All right, we're going to go to the middle part. Is it looking? What do we need to change to make him an elephant? His feet? All right, let's see. We got it. Now what is he? He's an elephant. Good job. All right. Now we need to do a donkey. Does that look like a donkey? No. no. All right. I'm going to look for friends who are sitting on their bottoms to help me with this. Let's hear. Miss Bianca, you are sitting very nicely on your bottom. Can you stand up, please, and come up here? Would you like to change the top, the middle, or the bottom? Friends, I only asked Miss Bianca to come up. We're going to do the bottom. All right. Push it like that, and we need it to make it look like a donkey. You want, me, you want to help? You think that's a donkey bottom? All right. What about, is that a donkey? So we need to change that? Yeah. And change up there. Oh, is that a donkey? Let's show her. Is that a donkey yet? No. All right. Have a seat, Miss Bianca. I'm going to call another friend up. Let's see here. Mr. Landon, you're sitting very nicely. Oh, I think we already said that this looks like a donkey bottom. Now we can change the donkey middle. Oh, is that a donkey? No. Nope. Nope. All right, let's get another friend to come up. Good job. Good job, Mr. Lander. Let's see here. Sayla. 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 Sayla, will you come up? Yeah. Sayla. Let's change the middle one so you can find the donkey. I changed it so you can do another one. Oh, no, you can do another one. I accidentally just swipe it. I think you found the donkey's nose. Is, it, is that looking closer to a donkey? Yeah. All right, Sarah, you may have a seat. All right, who's sitting? Miss Sophia, you are sitting nicely on your bottom. Okay, what do we need to change? The top? Yeah. Let's slide it. Does that look like a donkey? Yeah. All right, sit down. All right, is it Elijah or Batman? Why don't you come on up? What do we need to change yet, friends, to make you look like a donkey? Change the top. Is he a donkey yet? No. 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 All right, let's see here. What about my friend here in the back? Ayla. 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 All right, Ayla, what do we need to change? We need to change that top. You got it. What does it look like? A donkey. All right, friends, we're going to do one more, and we're going to do it together, okay? That way we can move on to our... Musical instruments. Does that look like a panda? No. What do we need to change? The top, the middle, or the bottom? The middle? I don't know. I think he might look like a panda in the middle. Have a seat, friends. My friends behind you cannot see if you're standing up. What about the top? What does the top look like? Does that look like a panda bear? No, it looks like a penguin. So let's change it. Oh, does he look like a panda bear now? No. What about now? Yeah. He's getting closer, but what do we still need to change? Yeah. The legs. All right. That was easy. Now what is he? He's a little bear. All right, friends. Good job. Give yourself a seal of approval. Art, 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 art. All right. We are going to do our music next. You need to get out maracas. All right, let's shake them up high. You want to stand up and shake them? You can. Okay, now friends, you can't hit these on the ground. So when we shake them low, shake it just right above the ground. Don't hit it on the floor, though. If you hit it on the floor, it might break. Good job. Thank you for listening. All right, shake it in the middle. Right by that tummy. 
Good job. And then we're going to be down by the bay.